What's good everyone, Zuku here back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to gain insanity as a deep bound player. So there's a couple ways you can do it. There's shared misery, insanity potions, and one other way. So I will teach you guys how to do this other way because I think it is a lot faster than using insanity potions. I will show you guys all three options in this one video. But before we can do that, consider subscribing because I do post deep Vulcan PvE content. So if you like that stuff, feel free to stop by more often. And as time go on, I'll be uploading more videos again so this is a private server so i will have to wait for this specific mob to spawn but with that being said i will show you guys where some of the locations are so you guys can create insanity potions to make this go a little bit easier i am using my animal king slot that i was progressing i may go back to this progression here in the in the future but this is probably the best slot to use at the moment Oh, for a minute i thought he looked at me he was gonna be one of the like the main spots for uh, urchins right see if there's about like maybe five or six of them you can grab at once here yeah as you can see we grabbed six of them we have 15 at the moment i'm sure you guys the next area It's gonna be right here by the the wall towards the entrance of the city yep right down here or is it right there there's gonna be like maybe four of them here they haven't spawned in yet so that's fine and then here's gonna be the biggest spot right here this is where you're gonna get most of them You can use these to eat food, by the way. You can make urchin stew out of them. There is one more other spot up there. I'll show you guys. So if you go up here. Yep, you see them? You see that one? This is gonna be like the last spot that's closest. There is some other locations, but those are within the city and whatnot let's grab them all and then since we're out here i'll show you guys the location where you're gain the most insanity it is going to be the widow's nest if you guys haven't got vision shaper then you probably wouldn't know what the widow nest is but basically it's just a, a little cave entrance of where the giant spider in the depths is it can give you insanity corrupted and non-corrupted too so i in my personal opinion i think it's the best way to do it because for one you don't have to server hop and grab urchins and two they actually made it so that you're able to open the door now so instead of you know using something like strong left or fire gun or ice smash and all that to break down the door you can actually just open it if you follow just my general direction you should be able to make it over there just fine but it is a high traffic area, so you will have to watch out for other players. But I'm sure if you are a deep down player, you probably already know that. And then, they, yep, here it is. Open up the door. I. It's funny that this door is even like you can even open it, but it opens up at the wrong side. They should probably fix that. But here we are. This is the widow. This widow can give you insanity. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it, aggro it, and show you how much insanity you can get. So we just bring it and then keep it there for a bit, right here. And then sit in like this corner so you don't get like you will be able to clip through it if he uh if he hits you at a like the wrong angle as long as he just keeps shooting webs at you you will gain insanity and then you can use that to get your heretic sutra and depending on how much like willpower you have the long you like you may have to stay here a little bit longer than usual so if you're at like 100 it will take you about like a minute i will say but if you're like at 20 like i am you honestly don't have to be here for no more than 30 seconds because you will start bubbling as you can see i'm already bubbling it hasn't even been 30 seconds but yeah 
now that I got my insanity, you can always go get your hair tech sutra. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make the insanity pots real quick. If you guys head over here next to the library, there's going to be the little cauldron. All you got to do is grab your urchins and drop three only. One, two, three. Boom, you're done. Here's your mind breaking potion. As you can see, if you press E, you can throw them so you can gain sandy or you can drink them. I'll show you guys that real quick as well, just in case if you guys didn't know. So again, three only. And then once you got your mind breaking potions, you can drink it. Do not drink too many of these because if you do, you will throw up. And if you don't have food, you will die. But real quick here, I'm gonna show you guys that you need to make these and use them outside of castle light. The reason why is because you gain so much sanity back while being castle light, it makes it almost impossible to turn blue screen while you're inside. So with that being said, you do need to go out outside of castle light where you do not see the castle light tag anymore i'll show you what i mean so you see sail towards waste this is when you can use them throw them or drink them do not drink too many of them so then all you gotta do is just wait like i said this is just too tedious for me and it takes way too long you gotta wait till the particles are have gone away and then use it again as you can see it doesn't really do much that's why the whittle is probably the best farm method at the moment hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video